<clears throat> hey Darren, um, just gonna help you try and create this petal shape. Show you how to do it. All right, so create a circle and drag, move, copy uh, the other circle. Um, and you're going to trim these edges with the trim command. All right, and then let's right, so move this up. I'm gonna create a circle right here to create this rounded curvature. I'm going to take these two lines right here to trim this part off. And then we're going to blend these curves with the blend curve command. And then I'm gonna take these two control points and then I'm gonna move them inwards to get the pedal profile. Um. I'm going to do a bounding box around this. And I'm going to create two curves. I'm going that way. I'm going this way. I'm going to rebuild the curve to have three point counts. Bring the points on. Select the points. And then drag them down. Create the curvature of the petal. Okay. Great. Turn these points off now. Gonna take this curve, bring it to the edge right here. Gonna copy it. Take this curve, bring it right here. Select all these curves and make a sweep. Sweep two properly. Sweep two. Yes, sweep two. Okay. Now I'm going to take the curve of the petal, go top down, select the surface, and project curve, the pedal curve, onto the surface. Take the projection, and then trim the sides of the surface. So now we're just going to take this surface, copy it by dragging. Press Option while you're dragging. Create a duplicate. We are going to duplicate the edges. Or the curves. All right. So, dupe borders. I'm going to take both of these curves and then lock them. Bam. I'm going to select all the curves, delete them, I don't need that. Take the border, take the top, take the bottom, join them. Then we are going to blend the edges of this. So I put the radius at 0 0.05 because this just so happens to be the size of the radius or this size of the pedal. Um, numbers may vary. So I'm going to select it. 
and then bam, you have rounded edges. All right, so the last part is we are going to make the rest of the petals. So in order to do that, we're going to do a aerial polar, or an, a, a polar array, sorry. <laughs> Um, so I made a point right here to use as the control point to do the array. You don't need to do that. Uh, I just like to do that. Here, I'll show you what you can do without having the point. Uh, just take that, take the pedal, polar, uh, array, polar. All right, number of items. I want six petals, so it's going to be six items. I'm going to start with this petal. Make sure the value is at 360, or you can just do it manually. Press done, and then we have all the petals. Because I have history mode on, I can adjust the angle of the petals, but I'll show you that in a sec. So we're going to press done. And then view and perspective. The petals are flat currently. But what we're going to do is I'm going to turn ortho and grid snap off. And then I can rotate the petals to whatever curvature I want. Also, I can space them out however I want. And go top view. Let's go perspective again. Get a little bit more curved. There you have it. And if you want to get fancy, you can just apply some glass to it. You're going to have to group it up if you want to apply the glass all at once to each item. <laughs> 